Hello, folks. Welcome to another episode of I've Got a Theory. I'm here with my friend Josh Giordani with Lawyer's Title. But we're not going to talk about real estate or, or, or title business at all because this time I've got a theory and I want to bounce it off of Josh, see what he thinks about it. So we're, we're in the midst of recording. I'm semi-quarantined in my own ADU behind my house. My family's in the front and Josh is self-quarantining himself. We're kept an appropriate social distance. We're only interacting through Wi-Fi and I don't think diseases are communicable by Wi-Fi, unless you're sending me some kind of malware, I'll get you for that. Yeah, there you go, yeah, or I'm gonna hack, hack you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you're doing it, you're doing it hands-free, because I can see both your, your, your hands. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so my theory, Josh, is, is similar to what was voiced in H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds that came out back in like 1930, so almost 100 years ago. I always talk to people about this and say, hey, do you remember what happened? Because a lot of people saw that movie, right? I think Tom Cruise was in it 10, 15 years ago and the, the planet's being taken over and it's a bleak outlook. Every, everyone's getting killed and that's the end of the story, right? Almost, right. except at the end, fate twists and turns. And the thing that kills the aliens in War of the World, in the book and in the movie, do you remember what it was? Mm, it was some type of disease. They got sick. They got yeah. sick because the, the beauty about living on Earth and evolving on Earth is that all plants, animals, etc., have learned have learned to uh, adapt and get um, immunity to most diseases. Right when they say that you know a good chunk of us is billions and billions of bacteria that live in us at any given time, and there's hundreds of strains of different viruses that either we've gotten immunity through throughout the centuries or, or millennia. Uh, or, or even just from our gut flora because we sit, have the same kind of evolved body parts have made us tolerant to this and we can live and look and, and behave and act healthy. Mm -hmm. But the, the truth is, is that if you bring someone foreign in, it won't, it won't go well for them. So in the aliens and war of the world, and my theory is, is, is further put out there is that, you know, we say we see aliens and there's a good chance that they're out there, but I believe that biological, squishy, made of tissue, Aliens have not visited us in person because I don't think their immunity could handle it. I agree with you. I think it's the unknown, right? It's the unknown of us. I mean, even us traveling to space, we're wearing suits, right? And we're trying to discover what, how to breathe in space where I don't, I don't know that they would know how to breathe our air in where we're at. Right. Um, so it yeah. could be the blend of the gas itself. That's not appropriate, right? right. Ideally they figure that out beforehand. But the, the thing is that, I think that our planet stays well protected from foreign invaders like that with our defense systems, which are bacteria and viruses and animals that'll get you. Yeah, right? you know, yeah. It, yeah, you just land in Alaska and you can have a bear attack take you out, obviously. Right. But, but I think the same way that, that we explore other celestial bodies, the moon, Mars, asteroids, sending probes out, is the same way that aliens would check out earth or our solar system is they'd send probes they'd send robots they'd send drones and in robot uh, you know anything that's uh, a technology based or artificial is what we're going to see and potentially interact with and so my theory goes further is that yeah they could be visiting but it, maybe it's some kind of little drone that's coming and checking it out seeing what's going on taking, taking our netflix account and, and viewing it so they can study our our society yeah. Our culture, <laughs> yeah, yeah. watching yeah. Netflix, <laughs> yeah. and, and they don't need to do all those probes. I, I, I think that's really unnecessary. You don't really need to stick anything inside of me to figure out what I'm about. Sure, yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Battlefield? Um, is that the one where it goes back and forth in time? No, I don't know this one. Well, uh, Battlefield. It was when they were on in Hawaii, and it was it was a, it was a newer movie. But aliens came, and the destroyers. The, basically the aliens, they couldn't see the sun. So they were wearing masks and the guys that were fighting them realized that when the masks were off, they were blinded and they couldn't see. Uh -huh. So they tried to use their defenses in order to make them blind to the sun. So it's, yeah. it's like, you know, they, they, they're not, they come here, who knows if the sun, right? Like you were saying, bacteria and diseases and all that, right, can be affected. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. So maybe there's a suit they could wear that keeps them hermetically sealed right. and protected possibly, but you know, that's no, that's no real good fun way to live either. You know, you don't want yeah, to be suited up true. all the time. 
It's the same thing I've thought about quarantine. It's like we should get little bubbles that we can wear. I was at the grocery store earlier. Oh, yeah. and, and because my daughter is kind of immune compromised, I don't want to bring anything back from her for her to get sick and, and then have sure. something serious happen. I feel like I would probably fight through it. But yeah, I was at the grocery store with my mask on and rubber gloves. And uh, I was getting, you know, people were looking at me like I was infected. You like know, you're which a crazy is, person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which, which is a fair thing to think. But then I think a lot mm -hmm. of people forget to think the other part of it, which is I don't want to get infected. Right. Yeah, you want to stay protected for, yeah. for you and for your family. Yeah, that's, that's as close as I can get to the bubble over my head that I could wear. Right. Or, or, you know, wearing a full, yeah. Yeah, full, full suit right, yeah. for personal protection. So, so there you have it, Josh. That's my theory. I think that aliens have not visited us in person. I don't think we'll shake hands with aliens anytime soon uh, without any personal protective equipment that they're wearing because viruses like coronavirus or swine flu or common flu. foot and mouth disease. <laughs> yeah, whatever is going to be would right. take them out the same way that, you know, we, we saw this happen historically, right? Europeans came to North America in the 15, 1600s and wiped out huge amounts of native, native peoples here with smallpox and other things that, 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 that they hadn't evolved to deal with here, right? And you still right. see this in indigenous populations that are in uh, New Guinea or in Brazil. And they're trying to keep them isolated because they know as soon as they interact with us, whatever germs that I can deal with, they won't be able to because they don't have the tolerance to the vaccinations. And I think that applies to aliens too. That's my theory. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm with you. Okay, cool. Well, that's our episode. Josh, thanks for chatting with me about aliens and, and bacteria and why coronavirus <laughs> would kill them for us. Thanks for having me. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, listen, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next episode.